Come on, man, please. Eat your arms, and then both of your legs, and then we will eat your face right off your head. Look, man. You will be this honest, legless, faithless thing, won't you? Rolling down the street like a bird in the rain. What the hell are you? I have a parasite. Yeah. Name is Chen. Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of the Civil Canadians. I'm Scotty V. Now before we get on to today's topic, please make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any great videos that we do. Alright guys, so what I have here today is... I'm going to be talking about Venom joining the MCU. Now, Venom, the first one anyways, uh, obviously it was made by Sony because it's a Sony property. And there was a lot of teases of, oh, Spider-Man's going to show up and all that kind of fun stuff. Obviously, what the case was, Spider-Man never ended up showing up. Now, with uh, Andy Serkis being hired as the next director for Venom 2, and he also teased Marvel Studios on his post. Now... There's two ways of looking at it. You can think, hey, you know what? It's it's a mistake. Actors do it all the time. Um, it happens. Another thing another thing can be is that um, maybe Andy Serkis and uh, Kevin Feige will work on this together. If Kevin Feige likes the script, they could incorporate uh, Venom 2 into the MCU. But also, that's going to bring in a whole lot of problems. And like how you're going to address, address the first movie and all that kind of stuff. There marvel studios has great and smart people working for them so they have a way of figuring it out now some of my ideas to bring venom into the mcu you won't you don't have to do the whole black symbiote uh storyline with spider-man like how how it's been done before what you can do is um he's a reporter like how he was in and um in uh, the first Venom movie, you can bring him over back. He decided to, you know what? He broke up with his girlfriend or whatever, and he needed, or there was may maybe a better job opportunity to go to New York. So he ends up going back to New York, and that's where Spider Man is. And uh, Spider Man and Venom kid get into an uh, get into a fight, and um, maybe Venom is so weakened that I had to leave Eddie Brock, and then somehow goes to Spider Man. Uh, that's how I think. So they would fight a battle in New York. Um, Spider-Man would severely wound Venom, uh, making the symbiote have to leave Venom. And knowing that Spider-Man has some powers and they can take some powers off of him, they can go on to Peter Parker. Peter Parker can have the black suit for a little bit and then obviously get rid of it uh later on in the movie or have him or have peter parker with the black suit for maybe a movie or a movie or so and then get rid of it um and then that's how venom can get that white spider because a lot of people were complaining about that white spider not being in uh in the venom movie but it's all good um so yeah that's one of my suggestions on how to bring the venom into the mcu now like i said it's all up to kevin feige and andy circus if they come up with something great something brilliant for the character hands down there would be no problem with bringing venom over to the mcu now the problem is that they cannot bring tom holland spider-man to the venom verse because uh, tom holland is contracted by marvel studios so you can only show up in spider-man movies that are taking place in the mcu if they want to do spider-man in their own universe they would have to cast a whole new spider-man and honestly we don't need another new spider-man tom holland i think is perfection as the character so if sony was smart they would bring uh, have marvel studios give their input into the character like this uh, it's a win for both sides all right guys if you guys like this video of the civil canadians and me talking about venom or if you have any topic ideas let me know in the comments down below all right guys see you soon be good